today uh, the chief of the nation uh, was in red. We were in Kumasi. We brought all our executives from all the different regions uh, to plan for the new season. So whilst we were there, we were following and then we were passing the information to them. In fact, uh, there is uh, one thing that uh, came through. Uh, members were concerned that uh, looking at the, the current uh, uh, state of the sector in terms of the uh, cost of production, in terms of uh, limited availability of food items, uh, they were actually very hopeful that they would hear uh, government direct intervention uh, that we're going to address uh, some of these things. But uh, if, you, if, you, if you follow the statement very well, you realize that much has not been said in terms of what government is going to do to Even if you listen to what the president said, he was talking about what they've been able to do with the planting for food and jobs, uh, what they've been able to do in terms of uh, innovating irrigation dams that were created by a tampon regime. Uh, we've not said much about what the president or what the government was going to do in terms of their own initiatives uh, like the one place one time that has become so useless. So we were worried uh, that uh, nothing was said about that. Now, our concern is that if you look at the current state of the economy, the reason why many Kenyans are complaining has to do with non-availability of food. And non availability of food is due to high cost of production, which is caused by poor implementation of some of the programs under the planting for food and jobs. Some of them are not within the control of government, which we admit, uh, in terms of uh, in the area of uh, inputs. Uh, we realize that cost of uh, producing fertilizer coupled with the uh, the, the, the problem uh, that has to do with the Ukraine and Russia uh, impact of COVID has actually affected availability of inputs. Notwithstanding, for you to now go further and still reduce amount of investment in that area, that will push farmers to be able to stay in business. I think we are not too happy about that. And then we hope that in going forward, maybe we will see how that, that will be addressed. Right.